Hello my friend here and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get back into let's build a shopping mall. And today we're going to be doing a photography studio and I'm just trying to create my own sign. <laughs> I really like the outside to give you a little hint as to what we're what's gonna go on in the inside so someone just like placing this build will know that there's like a dog groomers so I've made like a very simple little camera I hope it's obvious that it's a camera and if it's not what else should I have put on there because I thought the light looked like a flash and you know that uh, circle in the middle is the lens so yeah I just tried to make a photography sign because obviously we don't have one and I am absolutely roasting today probably if you watch other British uh, YouTube channels or other British youtubers you may know that there's a heat wave going on in <laughs> In the UK at the moment and currently it is 32 degrees where I live in Wales and usually you do not see that kind of weather unless you go abroad like you go on holiday so I am incredibly uncomfortable at the moment and I'm pretty glad that I'm not doing anything more than just like a face cam for a speed build because oh my goodness I don't think my computer could handle that at the moment I'm rather concerned that my computer is going to be like nah it's too hot because <laughs> I am feeling that way right now it's very typical Welsh British of me <laughs> to be complaining about the hot weather but um, our houses are just not equipped for it <laughs> So my plan for the photography studio would be to have an area for like headshots because this is in Del Sol Valley. Maybe you want some like headshots for uh, an acting portfolio. So I wanted like a plain backdrop for like more simple photos in one area and maybe you could like play this as when you enter an agency for like the acting gigs that you could get some like headshots done and get some nice photos done of your acting sim before you go to like gigs and stuff or auditions maybe like that's a part of like your gameplay you want to set up some photos ready for like auditions that your sims are gonna go to and then I wanted something more fun and creative and the eco lifestyle like flower wall reminded me of something that you would see on Instagram I can see people like queuing up to get a really good photo in front of like a flower wall like this and I just wanted something to be like a little bit more fun so you can go for like the CBS photo shoots with the plain black and white backdrop or then you could go for like a fun like simstagrammy photos with the flower wall so I've got like uh, a nice lounger maybe you could use like the pose packs with this because obviously the the sims don't really take photos while they're sitting down you can just take a photo but they don't really pose on the uh, loungers and I, I did play test this and the flowers in the background are so fun and I had a really odd lighting issue here I wanted to do like a seating area maybe even this you could take photos because obviously you can move those uh, tripods around so you can have photos taken anywhere around you in like live mode, live mode or whatever. But the like lighting here by the windows is really odd. It was making the white in the white swatches kind of yellowy. And I was kind of finding it difficult to place down two to make it sort of like an L shape. Because some of the... If it was like slightly by the window it was going yellowy for some reason. 
and not matching in with the swatches. So no matter what time of day I placed it, it was just kind of discolouring. I'm not sure that, uh, whether that's because I put those dividers in front of the windows. But I kind of wanted to uh, block off some of the sunlight because obviously you're going to want to use controlled light in photography. So I used the room dividers just as sort of blinds on the windows. But I really like this little seating area. This could be used for like meetings to like chat to whatever photography client you have if you're going to play as the photographer or chat to the photographer about what kind of photos you want or sit around look at the magazines while you're waiting for your photos to come back and I didn't really have a room in this one for like a reception desk so I use like a hallway table because they're slightly narrower by the front door as like a sign up or like sign in thing so I put like a book and just general photography stuff so like you can sign up sign in to say that you're ready for your appointment and then I thought it would be nice to put some like examples of photos that maybe your photography sim has taken of clients by the sign-in area. I do end up putting some photos down of my sim self because this is like my bill tester now is my sim self and so I just pop some photos of her in the two areas just to show what kinds of photos you can take and I had this like idea in my head that I had like a wall decoration which has like strings of photos on it and I thought it came with parenthood and I've got that pack but I could not find the like wall art with the strings of photos on them maybe it came in like kids room or something I don't have that stuff pack so maybe I've just seen someone else build with it but I could not uh, find it in my game maybe I'm missing that pack and I've just seen someone else build with it so I tried to find an alternative with the banners whatever you get them from city living and if you size them down and merge the uh, column through the wall they kind of look like developing photos because like old school photos are really dark from what i remember <laughs> so the black banners are representing like developing photos for this and maybe you don't have the pack either so this was just like a little cheat if you know which pack that comes with definitely let me know though because i really like that object i can't believe i don't have it and then i do change the light into a red light so it looks like more like a dark room because they usually have red lights and then I've used some shelving and some of the other cameras to put some more like clutter in this room. Maybe they're like an avid collector and um, don't want to get rid of their old cameras or they need to like switch out the cameras depending on what kind of job they're doing. So I've got like lots of different styles of cameras in this room as well. And that is the entire build. I really enjoyed doing this little photography studio. It was fun trying to find creative ways of doing the backdrops because obviously you could just change up the ones that came with the Machino stuff pack. But I wanted to make something a little bit more fun and interesting, kind of like it could belong on like an Instagram background so the flowers are really fun for me you can change up the backdrops as well so it doesn't have to be like black and white and there's loads of different like floral backdrops that I could have picked from I just wanted to use the one that came with Eco Lifestyle because this is like the newest one and I really liked all of the different colors in the flowers but I really don't think I can take much more of this recording and I don't think my computer can either because it is super warm here. 
definitely let me know whether the sign looks like a camera or it's just like a rectangle <laughs> i hope it's recognizable anyway if you have enjoyed this video smash that like button and if you haven't already and you would like to it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video i upload on tuesdays thursdays and saturdays thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you next time goodbye